The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. I think we have a rally going on, boys and girls. Uh, I, do we have Shane Smullyan on the line today? Shane, are you there? Well, evidently. Well, Shane, but JC's here. Oh, that's what I thought. You were supposed to be there. I, I said it was supposed to be you, but someone said it was going to not be somebody else. But JC is here. JC Parrots of All Star Charts. Looking, Looking good, good Billy, Billy Ray. Ray. Really good, Lewis. <laughs> what do you got for us today, buddy? Listen, you know, in the January lows, things were selling off. You know, there weren't any real bullish momentum divergences, certainly no breath divergences, not really much going on. Here we are rolling over, uh, retesting those lows in a lot of cases, undercutting those January lows in a lot of cases, regaining that. And I think a lot of these things are really the same trade. Uh, if you're above the January lows, and I'm talking specifically about the beat up names, the ones that have gotten slaughtered, think ARC, think SPACs, think biotech, think small cap growth. If we're back above those January lows. I think you stay long and strong for the squeeze and then feed the ducks, um, you know, along the way. That's the trade. That sounds pretty good. Do you have any charts to show for us today? Um, I should. Yeah, I got some ch charts. Let's see. Share well, see the if you could see if you could put them into the den there. Uh, uh, you're on Skype, correct? Yep. Uh, well, then we'll have to do it another time then, because the only way I can do it is through Skype. So that's not a problem. Well, on anyway. Skype. We're good. We got it. Right. Okay. See if you could put it in Skype, and then we'll take a look at a few of these charts because they like to see, you know, what they look like. You know, that's the main thing. But boy, this sure. has been a powerful rally here today. And it uh, looks like there's peace in the, in the uh, Ukraine area. I guess uh, President Zelensky has become the president of the new Ukraine. And uh, Putin has surrendered. I, I heard he, he pulled up a white flag about 30 minutes ago. Did you hear anything to that effect? Larry, I'm a technician, man. I don't know what the heck you're talking about <laughs> what any God of this has to do you. with Ukraine. Hey, let's start you here know? with the NASDAQ. This is a beauty on the NASDAQ. Let's look at that one, that NASDAQ 100. Yeah, so we're looking at the NASDAQ, looking at that former resistance from the first half of last year, came back, retested that level. And I think if we're above the first half highs from last year, I think you stay long. Um, look at Square, if you're above those former highs, right? So again, those January lows, if we're above the January lows, I think we're long uh, Square, um, you know, uh, ARC as well. We're above the January lows. We retested those pre-COVID highs. I think you're off to the races. I think they're all pretty much the same trade, Larry. I like uh, oh. DraftKings as well. Uh, one more okay. for you here. Let's just go back to DraftKings. That's and, the, gamble uh, again, That's the gambling one, right? Guys, retesting that bullish momentum divergence. Let's go, baby. Right. Feed the ducks above 30. Hey, looks good. Listen, we're going to have you on again soon, so thanks to the info, buddy, and keep those cards and letters coming in. We'd love to hear from you. Larry, the way I learned it, and this is old school, is that you want to sell the rumors of war and buy them when the cannons go off. Am uh, I right? I, let me see that. Sell them when they're crying and buy them when they're yelling. I think I've got it or something like that. <laughs> All right. Looking good, Billy Ray. See you later, Lewis. Keep the faith, uh, brother. J.C. Parrots, folks, all-star charts. Go look at some of his videos. It's first-class stuff. He's really, really a super nice guy. Let's get on to the – since we haven't had Stan Harley on, we're going to have Stan on next week. He sent me a special update uh, last night and to show you what he was looking at here. This is uh, work of Stan, and he believes that we have made a 32-week cycle here, and we have a chance to make go up and to make new highs from here. And if we do, and if we do – Write this down, boys and girls, because I mean this more than anything I've ever said in my whole world. That'll be it for this cowboy. And hey, listen, I am not short now, and I, I covered a little bit earlier yesterday because of the fact that the, these markets were acting 
so so perfectly if it were going to be uh, some type of a bottom. And let me explain to you why. Everything that we're banging on the doors for, right? I mean, the things that everybody was talking about is, oh my God, we've got a hundred dollar crude oil. Oh my God, we've got a hundred dollar crude oil. And guess what, boys and girls, they got the hundred dollar crude oil. And there it was with expanding uh, wave transaction there to 1.618 expansion. That was overnight. And then we've broken down. Now we're trading in the 80s now, folks. So, you know, they've really, uh, they've taken this thing. I think it's in the 80s. At least it was a little earlier. Uh, maybe 91. I, I haven't looked at it in a while. But uh, what, I, what I did is when I saw that pattern happening, that was several days ago. The first thing I said to the folks, I said, look, if this market is really bullish, and if it's really bullish, it's going to go right back and make a new high really, really quickly. But I said, what you need to watch, and I, hopefully I can find that puppy. I believe I have it here. Guess what? Here it is. I'll get this up here and take a look at it. You'll be able to see it. Like JC said, I'm just an old Peckerwood technician. That's all I am. As you can see here, we had the high there at 100.5. We came down. We went to the 382 retracement there at 95.20. We only went 30 pips above that, and then we broke. And then you can see this morning we had another 382 retracement there at 94. We broke another $3 from that. Folks, that's not how bull markets act. And I'm going to go into some of these others, too, because they're, they're taking some of the boys at the Board of Trade to the woodshed today. I mean, you, maybe you don't follow the, the grains and stuff, but this is another one. Here, take a, let's just get this one out of the way so I don't have to look at it again. Move that out of the way. And I want to get the next one right here, which would be the El Corno. Look at the corn here. I wanted to show you here the same thing happening in corn. We've had, let's get this up here. Stop the music, boys and girls. This was my key that there was not something right. You can see that we had the retracement here. Corn is down $1.30 a barrel, a bushel, folks, in, in, in less than 24 hours. I mean, that's, that's telling you that something has happened in that. And we're all going to take a look at the old wheat market because everybody likes to eat bread once in a while or a little pasta. Raise your hand, Larry. I certainly like the pasta. Let's get the wheat up here because I want to show you. This was, you talk about a rocket ship, folks. This was the one that I was following last night. We, had, we hit a high of 862 in the wheat. It was limit up. It opened higher at 862. My game plan was if it gets a tiny bit below limit up, I want to try to find a little pattern to see if I can put out the old uh, white flag and see if I can put on a trade where I don't have to risk anything. And so all I did was I went down to my old trusty 30-minute chart and I brought it up and you'll never bit guess what happened. Look right there at 912. A beautiful 382 retracement there. Bada bing, bada boom. We went all the way down in, dropping more than a dollar uh, a bushel in just a very short period of time. And we don't want to leave our friends the beans out because they did pretty much the same thing, only they wouldn't rally at all. Let's get this bean chart up here. Here's the bean chart. You'll see we were trying to do it in the same thing in the soybeans, and uh, we were not able to do that. Folks, soybeans are down more than $2 a bushel. That's uh, $10,000 in about a day. Uh, that's not how bull markets act, folks, whether markets or not. And this was telling me that, look, there's not anybody taking asset protection out there. And we'll do gold next when we come back from the break, okay? 877-927-6648. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. 
the Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, we're back, and I wanted to put the charts of the DAX and the FTSE up again to show them. They've had a pretty big sell-off. Of course, they're rallying back with the rest of this now that peace has been declared in uh, Ukraine, and Putin is going to have pizza with Zelensky today, I understood. But that could be fake news. I'm not absolutely sure of that, so don't hold me to that. Now, let's talk just a little bit here about the thing that Peter Elides talked about. And I wanted to show you, this is the this was the forecast that he made here. And believe me, folks, I had really strong suspicions that this thing might not work because I start getting emails from everyone, from Larry McMillan to three or four other people that says, hey, look what happened here, look what happened here. And I said, oh, my God, the best kept secret of Wall Street. Here's what Peter was looking at. This was the, the, the stock market in 1929. That red line, and I'm going to show you in just a minute, is a 13-day exponential moving average, and Peter said for this to work, it cannot close above that exponential moving average if it's going to be correct. So what we're going to be looking at here, as you can see here, the crash occurred on October the 19th of uh, Night, October 29th, 1929, then we rallied up for three days, and then we went down into the low of November the 11th, and we finally closed above that a little bit later. I'll show you that right now, because I don't use moving averages, but I watched uh, to see how people move around them. I think it's, Im it's important, because a lot of people watch these things, and so it's worth looking at. Here's the ball. I just did this about an hour ago. And if you'll look at this, you'll be able to see here that that uh, exponential moving average comes in at 865. So if we close above 865 today, this would validate the uh, scenario that started on the 10th of February. Because we went down sharply, we stopped exactly at the 1.27 of the January 24th low, folks, to the tick. 
I mean, it was just amazing when it went to 4103. And uh, it was just just a thing of beauty. And now we're back up here to this level here that looks uh, looks pretty interesting to see what happens. Remember, it's the close today that's going to be important. Close. We have to close above that number. We can get above it. But if we don't close above it, then there's still a chance that we could still see a sell off. Otherwise, maybe we're going to see new highs in the stock market. I frankly, I find that very surprising if we do, but I've been surprised a lot and I try to make money off some of these surprises. Now this is acting totally different. Hold, let me get this one up here right away here. This is acting totally different than the one from 1987. We'll get this up. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh excuse me, folks. I'm sorry about that. Nothing else I can do about that. Hold on. You can see here on the 16th of October, uh, on that Friday, uh, you know, that's when we closed down 103 of the Dow. The next day we gapped down and then we went straight down for the rest of the time. So the timing sequence on that 87 one is broken and we're very close to breaking the one from 1987. So that's all I see. I'm a pattern person, folks, and that's, that's what I look at. When, when they had that stock market down 900 points on, uh, on Thursday, yesterday, and the market couldn't even couldn't even go down even a, a hundred points being down you know eight eight hundred points and the S and P starting to rally from the one point two seven I said and and crude oil is breaking like crazy and gold will cover gold in just a minute gold had already made its top I said hey. hey. I ain't going to fall for this stuff. So I sent you know, the folks out and say, hey, look, pay attention to this. Very important. Let's get back to the gold market here, folks. Uh, this is something that uh, I think is relatively important. So we're going to cover it, hopefully. Oh, I hope we are. Oh, please don't tell me. There, no, that's not it. Oh, that's not any. Yes, this is the one. Okay, here's the gold. To get this up here. I sent this out as it was happening on Tuesday night. You'll notice here that we have the big 1.27 uh, ABCD up there at 1778, uh, which was uh, the 786 off the high. The high was 1777 uh, that night. And I said, this is probably it. I said, you know, it should be a lot higher than this, given the fact that there's war out there and there's fighting in the streets. And as Warren Buffett says, you buy when there's blood in the streets, and that was certainly the thing to do. Another thing that was given us an indication that possibly this may be the case, and we were watching silver. As you'll recall, I'll bring the silver charts up so you can take a look at it. We were doing these together here. Let's get it right up here. This is the silver. Same thing that was happening with gold was happening silver. Now, silver had made the 1.27 up there at 25.50, okay, a little bit beyond the ABCD. But if we look at what's happened to silver uh, since that time, you'll see here that it's dropped well over $1.70 an ounce. And uh, that is, uh, that's pretty substantial as far as a pretty good pattern coming in. Now, is this going to be a big run to the new highs? It certainly is possible, folks. We got a lot of time left to go on today. And if we close above 43.65, that this thing could go a lot higher. That's basically what I wanted to see is how the close comes out. That's uh, that's the thing that I'm watching more than anything else. Because these some of these commodities, I mean, you don't see a two dollar break in beads unless something really significant happened, folks. That's ten grand, and you know, almost eight grand in corn, and another six grand in in, in wheat. And that's not what those people like to see. And I'm following an open interest, and open interest was not increasing during that buy, so. That was susceptibility, too, along with the crude oil doing the same thing and gold. So we're not seeing that follow through. Now, tonight, I have to follow through and look what's happening with the mini S&P and the NASDAQ and the, and the YM. And if they have big drops and in open interest on this, I'll be ready to come in short here uh, sometime Sunday night or Monday because that's telling me that there's no new buying coming into this market from this level. So that's why, you know, it's very important that I, that I, I follow these figures you know, on open interest, because that tells you what direction, whether you got more buyers and sellers. You know, in order for the market to go up, you have to have more buyers and sellers or shorts are covering. And that means the market is weakening. And believe me, we've seen these short covering rallies before and we'll probably see them again. So that's the main thing that we want to uh, keep our 
cards and letters close to our vest to tell us where we're going to be on Sunday because that's going to be a real key because uh, Peter's uh, work said that the two worst days were supposed to be Friday, certainly not a bad day today, and then also Monday, and maybe Monday's going to be another update. But that key figure, is based on what Peter said, was if it gets above that exponential moving average, which is around 4370, I believe, in the S&P, and I don't know where we're we're trading at it now, but it's probably not too far from it, given the way these markets are running like crazy. Yeah, it's almost there. It's 40. I just see it posting here at 43.67. So that's a, a pretty big handle to uh, to look at here. OK. All right. Now, uh, the other thing is the bond market, folks. That bond market is in big trouble, no matter what they do to it. And these, believe me, these interest rates increases. This doesn't mean anything. This thing with the uh, with the uh, uh, Ukraine, I I think this is the volatility what's happening here, but it doesn't mean anything as far as the overall structure of the market. That that there again is my opinion, but we'll have to uh, see what happens as this unfolds, and uh, that's pretty much what I'm trying to do here right now. Let's see if we've got any eight seven seven nine two seven six 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 four eight. If you want to call in, I would certainly appreciate it. And I will be uh, adding a couple of charts here at the break that we can go through. If you want to see uh, something that you want to that, that I have followed, have been following, I'll be more than happy to uh, bring that up to you. So I'm going to take a little break here now, and uh, we'll see you at the, in a few minutes. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Okay, folks, uh, I would just like to chat with you about the rallies uh, that we're seeing right now. Uh, back in 1972, I had the great fortune to go to uh, Conti Commodities in uh, Princeton, New Jersey. They're on Mount Lucas Road and visit my good friend Jay Cross, who was working there. This was his last year, and he was working with Amos Hostetter on that trading program that was uh, developed uh, over a period of years. It was sold to Goldman Sachs for a lot of money many years ago. But we had a chance to have lunch with him a couple times and trade next to him. I mean, we remember, we don't have these machines and stuff. We had ticker tapes, and he had a secretary that ran his ticker tapes uh, to tell him where the highs and lows was. He loved trading pork bellies and some other things. And so we were we were chatting with him, and I remember I says, gee whiz, I says, why, why are you trading a one lot of, uh, you know, pork bellies? He says, well, it keeps my mind off the other stuff. And I says, what do you mean by that? He says, well, and he had a uh, commodity run that was about seven or eight inches thick because he handled so much money. And he said, well, I've got huge positions in cocoa and sugar and coffee, and uh, they're going against me a little bit today. And so I, I still have a plan, and, and I follow my plan without any hesitation. He said, that's the one thing I've you know, proved to myself, that my plan works, and so I want to do it. And so he showed us what was happening to coffee, cocoa, and sugar that day, and they were having a three-day rally like you couldn't believe. I mean, it was, I mean, like two, three, four thousand dollars $4,000. Now, he had positions on that still had big profits, but he was setting through three and four thousand dollar profit, uh, and this was a lot of money back in 1972, and he, you know, he'd set through that the whole way, and uh, he said, "I this is the way I have to do it." He said, "I know it works." He said, "I'm only right about 50 percent of the time, but when I'm right, I'm right big, and when I'm wrong, I'm wrong little." And I said, well, "I didn't say anything, but I said, yeah, it makes sense to me.'" So he was a very humble guy. And I'll tell you, he was uh, he was the last person you think was a traitor. He was a he was a frail fellow, and uh, but uh, very very bright and very very comical. He had a great sense of humor, and uh, it was just really a pleasure to uh, to be around him. But anyway, that was one of the things that he did. And setting through some of those humongous losses and stuff is what keeps you in the game for when you catch the humongous downs. And believe me, folks. You got to have uh, a little bit of salt and pepper in this business. Otherwise, you know, you're going to have to be uh, telling yourself that you don't really know what's happening. And you've got to have a plan that you believe in. And that's the whole thing of what I'm looking at. You know, I, I watch certain things. You know, when my patterns don't work, I'm out of there. I don't really care. I'm not going to sit there with a, you know, a, a multi, 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 you know, position loss. And the other things are killing me, which I don't really want to see that uh, that happening. But we are having this strong rally today. Here we've got we're 9:30. We're two hours into the trading. Well, 9:30 my time, 11:30 your time. So the the the, the key today will be the uh, the close, folks. If we close below, uh, I believe 43.65 in the uh, E mini S and P, that's the trigger that uh, this still could have some more to the downside going into March 4th. But if we don't, and if we don't, and we close above there, then that, that scenario is broken. And you have to follow that because you got to wait till the close. We close above that, then you say, okay, no more shorts. I can't do it. You know, I, uh, I, I, I gave up yesterday sometime, but, you know, I, I just don't like to see these things. Uh, you know, when you, when you got the, you have the S&P up on the day, and you got the NASDAQ up on the day, and you got the Dow Jones down 500 points, and it's just sitting there. It's just a matter of time. Do you figure out somebody's going to look at that and say, huh, that must be ready to rally too. And so that's what I was doing. And I said, as soon as that thing started up, I said, well, might as well, you know, jump on board for a little bit. Of course, a little bit turned out to be 1,300 points. But believe me, I didn't get anywhere near that. But that's, that's neither here nor there. Okay, I want to go over a couple of charts here. Uh, import, imp, hold on. We got. Do we have a caller coming in? How did how did they ever get through? Michael from Niagara Falls. How are you, Mike? Uh, good morning, there, Larry. Thanks for taking my call. I want to look at XLP. That's the Spider Oil and Gas Fund. Well, unfortunately, I'm I don't have that in my group of things that I can post today. But I will. I'll I'll send it to you to the, this afternoon right after uh, the show. The UGA. UGA, that's the United I, I posted, States ga I posted, gasoline I, yeah, oil Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I posted those. I posted those uh, the other day for you, uh, mm -hmm. and I sent. I also sent them to you. But you're right. That UGA is is in is it was in big trouble in my opinion because okay. if you take a, just let me show you why. Let me get the the futures up 
and you'll see the beautiful head and shoulders pattern in the uh, in the natural gas, and that that was very very important. Uh -huh. Oh dear, don't tell me what I do with my future thing. Hold on. Oh boy, my eyes are so bad. You know, I can't find my future thing. Did I delete it? Uh -huh. I couldn't have. Oh shucks. By golly, it looks like I did, Mike. But I'm going to post yeah, okay. it. What's, what's, <laughs> what is the oil premium in this Ukraine-Russia uh, conflict? Oh, like, Mike, plus Mike, 15? I have no idea. No, I don't know what it is. It's a lot. I, I think it's 10 or 15 bucks anyway. Okay, and what, how about the, how about the Iranian uh, peace deal? If they... Uh, if they were able to successfully, you know, re-sign that Obama deal from twenty, uh, from was it twenty fifteen? Uh -huh. uh, yeah. What's 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 the oil premium on the on that peace deal? Again, I can't answer that question. All I know is it's got to be high because we've got backwardation, and you know everybody wants oil right now. Yeah. And uh, but it's acting very poorly. I mean, we're, we we traded below ninety one just a minute ago uh, in crude oil because my uh, beeper went off to tell me it was now down ten percent, and that's uh -huh. just in two days. So okay. in so the middle, in the middle of a war, conflict. that's not bullish. Well, we're looking at it. We're looking at maybe uh, the oil taking the elevator down minus 30. Yeah, easy, without any trouble at all, because there's been no open interest increases in this. All that was short covering, so there's no new uh -huh. buying. It could very easily do that. But, Mike, do yourself a favor and look at the head and shoulders pattern that's there in the uh, natural gas contract. It's just an absolute beauty. And uh, unfortunately, I've lost my futures. I don't know. Ah, guess what? I just didn't look hard enough. Hold on just a second here. I'll get it up here for you, and you'll be able to see it right here, Mike. This is what I was talking about when I sent that the UGA out to you. Look at that perfect head and shoulders pattern. Uh -huh. I mean, it's just beautiful. I mean, the shoulder, left shoulder, Higher than the right shoulder, the time between the shoulders and heads is correct. I mean, uh -huh. and the retracement back from the head to the shoulder is exactly 50%. And, uh, you know, we're breaking, uh, we're still down quite a bit. So it looks to me like this is a uh, pretty substantial head and shoulders pattern in that natural gas. Well, let's make shorting oil great again. Okay, Larry? <laughs> it will be, Mike. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Thank you my friend. You bet. And it is so far today being short the oil. Let's hold on here for just a second. That's one that I wanted to uh, share with you. There's a few others that I wanted to bring to your attention, too, because they've been talking about gasoline for a very, very long time. And I wanted to uh, bring this up to you. Uh, hold on one second here. And we get back from the break. I think we have a break coming up here in just a second. We're going to move down to a different time frame on this. You can see we just had a five-day minor sell-off in the gasoline. But I wanted to update, up that, update that for you so that you can see what I was doing in the newsletter is what I do here. Just follow the patterns. And that's really what I'm going to be trying to do. So when we get back from the break, we're going to take a look at the 30-minute chart on the gasoline and see how it acted uh, during that time that we said it should be a sale up there around that uh, 268 level. We'll be right back, boys and girls. 877-927-6648. Keep those cards and letters coming in. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. 
David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks, and uh, I wanted to share with you one of the, the – this was probably the best trade that we had all week, and it ended up being a $250 loss. We were selling wheat, and uh, we knew that it had to stop exactly at 820 I, – I can't remember the exact figure, but it had a nickel risk in it. And so uh, what we did was we put the trade on, and uh, what wasn't more than about a half hour later that uh, something happened in – the Ukraine or wherever it was was going on in wheat because there's so much wheat there that uh, the wheat exploded and went a dollar a bushel higher. I mean, if you hadn't had a stop in there, folks, you could have been, you know, that's a $5,000 stop. And man, that, that really hurts when that happens. So you don't want to see that happen very much. So that's why when you're trading with these things, you have to use stops. Now, I wanted to show you the next one, which was uh, one I, I don't do cocoa very often, but someone was asking me about it. So I said, look, we had a beautiful three drive to a top pattern. As you can see here back on the 10th of February, that's when the market topped. It was a perfect ABCD from the low in December. It was a three drive pattern from the January high to the uh, middle of January high on the 24th. And then the high, the final high, high number three up there on uh, December excuse me, February the 10th. And now we've broken down hard and we've come down to some pretty major support this week. So I haven't checked it yet today, but there should be really strong support at 2561 uh, in the cocoa. If someone's in the room that's following cocoa, I'd like to know if that 2561 held or not, just so uh, I can, because uh, I know if it didn't hold, I would be out there. So I would be out of it. So 2561 in the cocoa, if it got to that level, I would certainly like to uh, like to know, uh, you know, what happened to it. So we're seeing sell-offs in some of these things pretty dramatically, as you can see here, that we've seen here in the grains here, but uh, and and also the oil seeds, uh, but corn down a buck and a half, and wheat down two dollar a dollar a barrel, dollar a bushel. Sorry about that, and the beans down more than two dollars a bushel. So these are these are big moves, folks. That means that you know this is food. And uh, it's only two days, and maybe it reverses from here. Who knows? It might be just an emotional thing, the exact opposite of what we're going in the stock market. Because maybe it's a risk on, risk off with commodities. You know, risk off on commodities, risk on on the stocks. And that's, uh, that's certainly a, a part of the game plan that you could be looking at. Uh, all I can re just remember, folks, at 40, uh, if we get above 43, 
65 on a closing basis. That's going to that is going to mean that this 13-day uh, exponential moving average has uh, been broken for the first time. And and believe me, that that's very important, folks, because you know Peter does a lot. And I'm going to have Peter on next week for sure. I, I'm, I am going to definitely do that. But if you look if you look at this. Uh, this thing hit it exactly here, and this is what this is what triggered the whole thing. You'll notice on February the 10th, when it's setting up there at the 61% retracement, it triggers at uh, 44.50, and that number now is 43.65. Now, if you go back and look what happened, and, and I'm just giving you the figures, folks. You decide what you want to do. I can tell you that right off the bat. I can just give you my opinion. Here's the 1929. Look at the look at the full moon there where it says FM. You see how it's been following along? This three-day rally might be exactly where we are right now. So, you know, this is very, very important to pay attention to that because uh, he did a lot of research on this, and I have to respect it. And also Shane still believes that uh, – we're going to see lower prices in the March 4th, and uh, I believe so, too, even if we get above 43.65. I do not believe a new high will be made in this stock market in my lifetime. Some of you younger folks will be able to see it, I'm sure, but uh, not in my lifetime. And I'm going to live another 10 or 15 years, I hope, <laughs> which is good, I think. Anyway, let's take a quick look here. The same thing here, the soybean oil that happened. Uh, that happened in being. In fact, they were all doing it together. It was another reason to say, oh my God, something's happening in these markets. It is very important, and it turned out to be, you know, relatively important in all of those, but it's not necessary. Getting back to that figure here, let me get back to where we were here just a few days ago. Uh, we'll put it up here. We completed that ABCD pattern, okay? We came down and we. Uh, went just a tiny bit below the level. We didn't make the ABCD pattern, but if the schedule is correct, and the schedule is correct, we're still going to make a lower low on the 4th of March, which is 55 trading days from the last high. So the next low should be 55 trading days from the high, if that sequence is still going. So we'll know Monday, because if we close higher than 43.65, then that's the figure that, uh, you know, Peter says, I'll say uncle, and uh, he will stand aside, and that's the way he looks at it. But remember, he was selling up there, well, we were too, up around that 45, uh, 70 level, but uh, we took a little bit, we, at least we warned the folks to get ready for a rally because these markets were acting like they wanted to have a, a pretty good uh, spin up after all these other things were we're collapsing. I had another request to talk about that uh, moon chart that the gentleman Jerome from Chicago sent. I'll bring this up here, and he's going to update this for us, and I'll be happy to show it to you when it finally comes in. But we have the uh, we have the big uh, full moon. The full moon is coming here. We're in a new moon now. I think the full moon is coming here on the. 31st, I believe. It's very, very close. It's, yeah, I think it's four days away. So that'll be uh, the first, uh, yeah, 27th, 20th. Yeah, that'll be Monday, I believe. Yeah, or no, 28th, 29th. No, the 28th, 29th. Yeah, 28th. Yeah, that'll be Monday the 1st. Let, let me check this before I tell you my dates when you got that darn leap year. No, the 27th is a Sunday. Monday's the 28th. And it comes in on the 27th, which is Sunday. So we're expecting a lot of volatility on Monday, much like we're having today. But who knows where it's going to be. March the 2nd at 1230 p.m. Thank you very much, Mr. Bill. You must have your ephemeris right there in front of you. So that's a good thing to do. Um, if you have any questions, folks, it's 8 7 up. Al said that don't even bother. He said the lines are so filled up today that you just won't be able to get in. But maybe if you save your questions for next week. We'll try to answer them for you if we can. Uh, I think those are the main ones that I think. The, a line, oh, a line just opened up. If you want to call in, 877-927-6648. I guess the guy just got tired of waiting that 45 minutes to try to get through, Al. But thank you very much. I, I certainly appreciate that. The one thing that is important today is the close. I know it's, uh, you don't think it's possible that the market could actually have a tiny bit of profit taking uh, during the day and maybe close uh, lower than where we are now. As long as we don't close above 43.65, this scenario that Peter Elidi's stock market cycle has been looking at will still be valid. 
So we'll have to wait and see. But we've had a monster rally here for two days, 1,400 points in the, uh, uh, what do you call that thing? <laughs> the uh, Dow Jones Industrial Average. So that's a pretty big one. Okay. I think those are the main ones that I wanted to do here. We've got a little break coming up here. And then I wanted to share a few things on the foreign exchange markets with you. And uh, we'll uh, get back. We'll get to those also uh, when we come back from the break. So uh, break is coming in right about now. So we'll see you in just a few minutes. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Okay, we're back, folks, and I believe we have Mike from Florida calling in. Yes, that's right, Larry. What can I help you with, my friend? Yeah, Larry, can you can you give us a, a briefing again of what Shane was talking about? I think he said we should probably hit a low on March 4th. Yes, basically, there, he's looking at some uh, astrological steliums, which means there's a cluster of the planets all coming together on one day. It's okay. a very unusual event. We get them probably maybe three days a month, maybe a total of 30 for the year. And there's a whole cluster of them coming in right around the 4th. The 4th of March is the day that he was looking at. That happens to coincide with 55 days from the high we made on January 4th. So that's it. He was very concerned today about the fact that we might have this really strong rally, which is in mm -hmm. fact what we're doing. 
But if if it doesn't close above that number, 4365 or 4370 in the S&P, the scenario is to still go down into March the 4th. All righty. So if I was going to put a short position on, that might be today, a good area. Today would be the day to do it. In fact, right about now is where I would do mine, right around this 4360 level in the S&P. Above 4375, you say sayonara, and I'll listen right. to somebody else from now on. <laughs> All right. And I, I, I did catch part of what he was saying, and yeah. um, I listened to another technician outside of TFNN, and this guy, he's been he's been – going on about how the you know the fed has been juicing the markets for years oh, and yeah. one thing uh shane said that that this guy's been saying is that you know the since 2009 most of the the rally has been because of the fed juice in the market well that's certainly possible i i, I don't follow the fed juice stuff but uh yeah. there's no doubt that there's been one heck of a rally since 2009 the biggest ever so they certainly write about that. That's 100% sure. Yeah. Hey, where, right. where well, is Ormond Beach, Florida? Uh, Ormond Beach is just north of Daytona. Oh, okay, good. Hey, listen, thanks for calling in, Mike, and have a wonderful day. And live every day yep. in an attitude of gratitude. And may God bless. We'll see you Monday, folks.